Hello guys, uh, Happy New Year and from this year I'm going to uh, make uh, some different tutorials from the past lessons. Okay, I was recording tutorial more than uh, two years which just focus on the fundamentals but uh, from this year I'm using an uh, entire one year to make some tutorials on how to uh, create a new IP. So uh, me and my some of my friends were working on a game project which will be take an uh, entire year of 2018. So uh, I will try to uh, release some tutorials to show how the design process come out and how to cooperate with crew members and uh, working out entire IP of the game. Uh, yes, definitely this project never can be done by uh, one or two persons. It's need a group of team members working together. So. Uh, we have a writer, we have 3D artist, we have game designer, and so on. I will involve in this project as a art director and make sure all the artworks are going to a correct direction. So, okay. So, uh, before I go into the demo, okay, I may quickly show how is the uh, the word of this project look like. Okay, so here are some notes. So basically, this entire uh, game world is going to be a uh, dark, okay, darkness, and uh, it's kind of corruption of the world. People there's a corruption here, and it's happening in the deep wood jungle. Those kind of feelings and the mess, which is have the massive forest, and the people living in those kind of ruins, which destroyed by the forest. Okay, so the the actually the background story is uh, very very long. So, uh, but I'm not going to share all this part here. Maybe uh, I'm going to be share with you guys of this background stories uh, when we do uh, some characters or weapon designs. Okay, okay. So here, uh, let's try to uh, sketch uh, one character. Okay, one race of character which is called uh, Ursus uh, Warbeer. Right. Basically, this is a bear look like a creature, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, we need to uh, take note some of this. Uh, key notes here for this character okay and they are, are very quiet and they basically hunt hunt uh, big creatures and also uh they carve their stories uh, onto their armor okay and they, they their armor is a uh, meteor uh, rod rig and uh, also uh they have the clouds as well okay uh, they are actually quite big creature which is a uh, nine to uh, eight to nine uh, feet tall and uh, uh, strong and epic. Okay, clothes wise more close to native style, right? So this is uh, I just write down some of notes and uh, With that we have to do some of a uh, quick sketch here first. Okay, you don't have to go to colors yet uh, Just using black and white to, to find out the big uh, overall uh, Ideas, okay, maybe we can uh, quickly uh, sketch uh, three sketch uh, you can show to your uh, art director or Whatever other people's okay, so and after that we can uh, decide pick one of the design to uh, proceed the color details. So uh, with that I find some of uh, reference here. Okay, just a few reference. This is uh, maybe some of my patterns, uh, native to style clothes. Okay, and some of body uh, builder. And uh, this is a really uh, nice design from Guild War. And uh, this is also a uh, really cool armors, which is very close to our uh, uh, designs later. Okay, and uh, this is a uh, bear, uh, and this is also another uh, native. We can also add those kind of feathers to to make more of those a little bit wild feelings. Right? And also, uh, those patterns also they are also uh. uh uh, how to say, uh, put their stories to the, the, the skin here, okay, so that uh, you can create some of tattoos here. And there's also another uh, uh, reference of armor, you can help with this ox. Uh, but it's a bit too wild, but uh, it's, great, it's very nice of the shapes, which is layered, those kind of feeling. Okay, and metallic feeling as well. So, uh, yeah, with that, uh, let's quickly do some sketch. Okay, just create a new layer and then pick this black color. So first, uh, uh, just using this uh, black and white lines to sketch all these all shapes. 
So uh, for the sketch, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you can, you can also directly paint it with color, no problem, all right? But uh, uh, what I'm showing here is just uh, uh, very easy way. You, can, you don't have to think in too much of the colors. It just uh, give this overall impression first, all right? So your main focus will be like the, the, the forms of this creature. Okay, this big arm here. Uh, the arm is there, maybe it's just holding some kind of uh, very big giant, those kind of weapons. Maybe something like hammers. And not, not this side yet. Okay, yeah, I'm starting using uh, black and white. Uh, to quickly uh, generate the, the values. Maybe I just change my brush to this way. Okay, so with this, uh, I may drop some of these textures. So yeah, the sketch part, it doesn't matter, okay, which kind of uh, way you use. I can just crop this body part to, to create this base uh, body shape first, okay. And this body is uh, quite uh, like, a, what is it, V shape uh, body shapes, okay. Uh, very strong, and very clear of these muscle structures. And then turn this one, it's black and white. I just turn the few down, okay, just quickly give some uh, ideas of these muscles here. Okay, you can also uh, just wrap it to distort a little bit the shapes. Okay, I also uh, crop this arm. Okay, quickly delete this uh, background. You can also just erase. So you don't have to make a very clean right now. Go free, okay. More important is this overall impression of this creature. And I do a lot of creature designs for many games and normally this stage, which is a first draft of this impression, uh, you can create three sketch, right? Uh, probably you can take a, a around be one day. Okay, normally it's taking one day to uh, come out one a really nice uh, impression from three sketch. Right? So after that, I just merge it. So the beers hat also I can just maybe can using this part. using lasso tool. So all these fundamental uh, techniques here, I'm not going to repeat again, okay? So uh, please go and check my previous tutorials uh, to uh, really go uh, fundamentals, how to rendering those metals, okay? And how to do those uh, animal fur painting, right? But from this, yeah, this, this uh, tutorial is we going to be more focused on the design part. So this uh, texture here is quite uh, animal looking like. Okay, so we have to edit that, make a little bit more uh, a human feel. Okay, so maybe I push this uh, first. I just merge down. We uh, push this ears a little bit lower, a little bit human, uh, close to human ear position. And you can attach some uh, hairs here. Okay, it also can, okay, because it's more like humanic, human uh, uh, feel, feel, feeling of this uh, creature. Right? Uh, just uh, kill some more uh, human look like eyes.
Okay, the nose also can be a bit uh, too larger, so I just crop this, make it a bit shorter. And we do some of a uh, uh, human uh, face uh, surface a little bit. This also put some of muscles. And they also do a lot of uh, uh, praise when they're killing some creature. All right, so uh, it gives them more mastery, feels like of tattoos or all kind of uh, patterns on the armor. So here also I just the uh, first time to do this here design, okay. So uh, every design also not sure yet. So let's together figure out these details. But before uh, we go to details, uh, we really have to uh, figure out this overall shape of the body first. Okay, here we got the big muscle here. It goes with a big deltoid. And with this muscle, it's quite good from this human. Uh, the arm is uh, kind of very uh, larger, okay, to make a bit more uh, feels of a uh, very strong feeling. I'll just give some tools here. I'm also, also uh, slightly close to a uh, human look like as well. Okay, here I just erase a little bit, okay, to show some negative space uh, so that we can clearly see the boundary here. So this is more like uh, we put the triangle shape of muscle here, right? It's not the fat, but it's very strong. So leg is toward to a bit shorter. And with the composite uh, foot here. Okay, you can also control T, right click, grab it. Yeah. So, uh, changing the overall proportions. So, they also not talking like human, okay, but they do understand the human language. So before you go to any uh, designs, get the familiar, okay, all this uh, background stories, okay, of this uh, race. And uh, do a lot of uh, research according to that, right? Every design comes from this real world, right? So uh, just get inspirations from uh, uh, real world, okay, according to your, your stories here. Okay, so with that, we can uh, start to uh, uh, design a bit the armors, okay? So, uh, yes, it's definitely it's not that clear, everything very sketchy, but doesn't matter, okay? As long as you overall form lighting is uh, uh, clear, so we can do uh, armor design, okay? So before that, I just duplicate this layer as a backup. And uh, yeah, let's go to armor design. So if you're not confident, just create a new layer, okay? And with that, uh, let's do a bit of shoulder armors. So also, you see, uh, just I don't have any idea yet. This is uh, uh, using dark tones because this is uh, like very metal armors, okay? 
dark metamer. So uh, we do a uh, quick sketch, come out this uh, big silhouette first, and figure out uh, how this piece of armor attach with this uh, uh, body. Okay, some uh, Patera uh, armor here. Give some a bit of lighting, okay. According your lighting direction. Uh, you can also do some a bit of highlighting here. Since this is a metal, uh, metal material. Okay, so uh, yeah, just uh, quickly get some inspirations. This is some belt. Uh, some small piece of metal here. We can also using this duck line uh, to cut a little bit more piece of armors, right? Like the knights of this uh, arm armor. But uh, uh, be patient that uh, this piece, uh, this race here, uh, they don't using uh, human armor, okay? So don't make it too, uh, too much like a, a human look, like for example, knight's armors, right? This is a good uh, example, okay? We, we don't see this cultures behind that, okay? It's kind of wild, uh, kind of wild feelings. Okay, so we can also do this close in the back clocks. Okay, clocks also are uh, some some games. Uh, we can put this long clock in the back side, but the problem here is that this clock is very big. Okay, uh, we will be have some problem uh, uh, when it's uh, how to say it's uh, flying. Okay, as you be. Uh, uh, hitting with this body, okay. Sometimes the clock pass through this body, it come to the front, okay. That is what we don't want, okay. Because in the game engine, it's hard to uh, making this uh, how to say this boundary so that the clothes cannot pass through this body. So sometimes we do this kind of design, which is a uh, backside. The clock is like this, okay. Many piece here, right? So it's sometimes it's, you can also two piece here. Uh, this back central part is kind of empty, so it's uh, a bit uh, maybe it's uh, more easy, okay, to uh, to avoid these kind of problems. But uh, for this first generation of idea here, uh, actually you don't have to too much thinking a lot of this, okay. So uh, try to put your more uh, focus on the design part, okay. Even that you don't have to thinking about this uh, polygon numbers when they do uh, uh, the the 3D modeling. Okay, so our project here, every creature is uh, this. Uh, we will be going to making a uh, 3D modeling and also uh, uh, toys later. Okay, so uh, we uh, definitely we're making toys. They're they are very difficult to making those details. Right? So. But it doesn't matter for this stage, okay? We do just uh, whatever we want. Yeah? You can show as much detail we can. And later we can just simplify it uh, when we're using uh, other purpose, right? Okay, so let's just focus on the design a little bit more. <clears throat> so here I just quickly give it one layer. Basically, uh, many pieces of armor here, and we can also put the on this uh, leg part a little bit, okay. There's a little bit of hiding this uh, leg armor. I don't want to show that pose. So maybe I just merge it to the two layer. Uh, I crop this part. And we just rotate a little bit like this way. You can show a little bit this legs. Uh, so also like a concept part. Uh, those poles try not to uh, 
hide too much of the body okay let will show you all the designs uh, as much as you can right but this is also uh, normally I don't do this uh, T shape those kind of designs okay, this is a kind of really boring okay and uh, yeah this this is very good for 3d modeling definitely but the first step let's come out with our uh, very nice designs first after every designs uh, details uh, render okay when we start to 3d modeling uh, we can do that side view and uh, the right front view, back view okay but the sum also uh, uh, so many uh, situation they don't need this okay they don't need this they can just directly do a model according this year right I mean those uh, who really are uh, experience on this 3d modeling and they also uh they also need a little bit of creativity okay so when those those kind of senior 3d artists okay, when they do see this design they already know what happened here already you don't have to explain too much details but of course for the first uh those junior artists uh, you may show a little bit more details Okay, here I also uh, make a little armor here. Okay, so since uh, I need uh, really much pay attention on the design part, Okay, I will not talking. Okay, so I will see you later.
Okay, so uh, here I made a three sketch. Okay, so uh, just br briefly find some of uh, big designs, and after that, uh, let's pick one of them and go into uh, detail renders. Okay, and uh, if you're working with other people, you can show this. Okay, uh, if you definitely working by yourself, you can pick uh, whatever you want. Okay, and sometimes also uh, we combine the designs. Right, maybe I like. This part of this you can combine here. Maybe I like some part. Maybe I like this. Okay, so uh, you don't have to completely delete the rest too. So here I just turn on this, and uh, probably this third base is uh, I like this base here. Okay, so we're going to be with this, right? and this you can just merge it. Uh, yeah, and I will bring this one. Uh, to this center, and uh, flip this guys. Okay, this guy also we just press down. All right, now this one, this and this. Okay, okay, let's do that. So first, uh, I probably uh, let's see. We combine this one and drag to here and right flip horizontal. Okay, and some of the shoulder also I just uh, crop this and drag it to here. Okay, it's just a little bit, not too much help, but just a little bit. Uh, what else? Let me see. Okay, no pro. Okay, let's go directly. Okay, after that, I merge it. And the rest too, uh, if you want, you can do a uh, crop later, all those details. So uh, before we go to colors, uh, maybe I just go one more round more detail a little bit okay just to clean out a little bit uh, the shapes right now still is quite uh, uh quite messy here right So uh, yeah, if you're not confident, you can uh, turn this opacity down, okay? And we you can do it. You can just create a new layer, uh, just drawing line, tight lines on top of here, okay? And after that, you can use it the way we do before, alright? But this part here, I'm going to directly painting, okay, with this black and white. <coughs> so uh, you just pick up whatever way you you prefer, right? Okay, uh, let's go back to this brush. So I uh, still uh, don't go into uh, details. You get like the, the metal materials. Uh, we still have to uh, Define the overall shape of these armors. Okay, 
because uh, steel is quite sketchy right now. <coughs> For example, like this shoulder armor, I can define this edge a little more clearly. And those tattoos actually you can uh, touch over, okay, erase, erase a little bit, no problem, okay, we can do it later. Okay, we got the one big piece of armor here, and there's another uh, layer just behind there. But uh, what I'm doing is just to create some shadows here to pop this a little bit out from this layer. And this part here, uh, you can do some kind of uh, uh, some design, maybe some uh, animal face, something, right? Or some of uh, creatures. The skeleton feeling here, right? Maybe some. Uh, Creature, those guys uh, pray. Okay, this is another armor, another piece attached with this base. Uh, this one also, one piece here, right? So just define the shape more clearly. So you can just put the highlighting on the edge, right? To make it more metal feeling. Since uh, we in our painting is a uh, black and white, so uh, in in uh, my brain I don't have to think in too much all those colors, uh, just the value. So uh, I could pick random values somewhere from here. So it's it's making this uh, painting uh, uh, very much faster, right? And always remember that this armor is uh, kind of attached on the arm. The overall shape it should be follow the arm shape, okay, which is the cylinder. And it's going to gradually duck uh, when it's go to the side. And the age also I slightly uh, make this part a little bit bigger, okay? As this is on top of the second layer, right? So age actually also uh, play a very important role to making the shapes. The clock here, uh, we can do it. Erase, you can erase it first, okay? So uh, 
Yeah, I just erase here. Maybe I'm just using lasso tool, right? Just crop this uh, back side, this part first. Okay. Control Shift J, and I just hide this. So that we can just focus on this uh, edge without any inter interruption. Okay, now we gradually clean out this boundary. Okay, this is a uh, not the fundamental class. Okay, so uh, for example, like how to rendering those first year. If you don't familiar, just go back, check my previous tutorial. Those are really fundamentals, right? So we have to already make sure uh, that how to render your material properly before you go to uh, any designs, all right? So uh, yeah, this industry is not only your idea, you got crazy ideas. Uh, uh, most Im more important is that whether you can uh, uh, visualize, visualize uh, present your idea to other people uh, with kind of visualization, all right? Many people have crazy ideas. The problem is that uh, uh, why they cannot work as a concept artist because they they don't know how to present this materials like from their head especially if you're working for uh, illustrator yes it's extremely challenging on your uh, rendering skill as well <clears throat> And most uh, my experience, most of the company, uh, uh, they hire people. Okay, they do both. They can not only just concept part. They have to also uh, do some uh, post production part. Okay, so uh, with that, uh, just go with more detail here. So maybe yeah, you cannot uh, using some part here. Okay, just crop this part. I'm going to uh, drag it to here. Let's see what happening. Okay, not bad. Now I'm after that, where is it? And I go for using dodge brush. So uh, yeah, since this is a black and white, you can using dodge brush whatever you want. I just increase a little bit the lighting.
So right now this three skits uh it's quite uh no no much big difference okay so because uh in my brain I already got this all this direction of this uh, uh creature uh, but if you are uh, guys uh, working a new idea new concept uh, you can try to make a different variation okay maybe you could put the, some more clock on the face okay or maybe more crazy uh, armors here. Okay, if you are uh, working with uh, many other artists, you okay, can try to uh, uh, show more of your idea from to your director. Okay, who knows which one he like. Okay, but this one I probably mostly uh, confirm all these designs. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, that's why all these sketches are uh, uh, not big, not big difference. Right? But they still have some different feeling, okay? Like the, the impression of this character right now. But this impression is more uh, quite quite close with what we want here. So I like this part, so I just crop this as well, drag it to here. This is a uh, very much like quarter view. So the half of that body, uh, you don't have to render too clean all right so because uh well, we render clearly here uh we somehow assume this is symmetry okay so we already know this uh this another part of concept right and also uh it's kind of save quite a long time and also if you work in too tight on each part it's going to be too uh too much detail showing it's also not very nice to present your idea as well <clears throat> okay, uh, let me see what the else. Uh, maybe I just uh, using this part. Okay, so with that, uh, maybe I just uh, merge down this layer. This too, I think uh, we just put it in the center and hide that.
and I'm just uh, crop this okay to the center as the rest uh, we don't need right now okay so now we just uh, focus on this Okay, so before I go to color, uh, I try to uh, improve more of the design. Okay, I will see you later.
Okay, so uh, let's make in color for this. Right? So the rest part we can directly paint with color. Yeah, before we decide the color, uh, just uh, think a little bit uh, of the old, old tone. Okay, for example, this environment is like a uh, it's kind of a very cold, freezing environment. Okay, so I'm going to put some cold tones for this background first. Uh, we can do a little bit some sketch of the background later. And for this character, yes, uh, this cold environment, you reflection those cold colors to this metal part. Okay, so I probably put those some of uh, cold color to this uh, metal part. Okay, and so we quickly give overall lighting, uh, overall color. Okay, so I just control you and uh, colorize. Uh, let's pick some overall cold color. This one probably will merge first. So there's different way to making color. Okay, so you can using this to uh, making this uh, color tone. Okay, overall tones, and uh, uh, yes, this is probably good for uh, this. Uh, what do you say this uh, armor part? Okay, and control you and turn down situation a bit down. All right, and for this body, we're going to go with a, a warm tone, okay, and also uh, this clothes also have going to hot tones like the, some kind of red color, right? In order to uh, create some contrast with the with this cold or all uh, colors, okay. So you may try color, okay, you may try soft light. Okay, they work in all differently. You also try hard light, or you can try overlay, okay. So uh, if your base is actually value is good, you can directly using this color, right? Uh, some of uh, this part, we can go to brown color, but before that, let's Turn down this red color situation down. And we also give some brown color for this uh, belt. More like leather, okay, it's not, not close. Okay, and we do need some hot tones, okay, in order to uh, work, uh, making these colors uh, showing. Okay, if this is overall environment too cold, some part, sometimes the hot colors, uh, it's hard to show in, right? So with that, we can add some fire lighting, maybe somewhere, uh, somewhere this side, okay, well, we can do it later. We can put some fire in this somewhere there. And I turn this background tone a bit down. Let's do this, put the file later. And for this body part, we can do also uh, give a little bit the uh, brown color. Using airbrush, I uh, just paint here uh, with color. Or you can try a uh, soft light. Color is working color. Or maybe I can try like this way. Okay, I turn this overall warm first. Okay, warm tone. Okay. 
Y probable la tesa. Maybe the autumn. <coughs> Okay, so a little bit of cool to skin color too. Okay, with that, um, I add uh, armor color right now, cold colors. So if you want more reactive feelings, uh, we have to making this age ex extremely clean. Okay, sometimes it's just the most traditional color is kind of interesting. Okay, with that, we turn this uh, situation down. <coughs> okay, and after that, we can also uh, turn off this one. And turn this value a bit down. This is the back side. Okay. And we decide the all, all lighting. Okay, maybe just put some uh, warm lighting here. So I create another layer here and we just pick this warm color using airbrush and those lighten part are going to add on different color right now maybe this no here it'll be here even this matte also it's going to reflect those uh, warm lighting on those lighten parts and with that we're choosing soft light or maybe we're using uh soft light is okay let's we just turn this view down all right okay not bad all right and let me see so since we have warm lighting okay it's okay we can show this one color here right now okay so uh, in this case, we have warm lighting here on the other side, we will put the cold lighting, okay? So it's kind of uh, creating some contrast with this toolbar. And you can also uh, control, just click here and just using uh, maybe curve and just change a bit overall tone of this guys. OK, 
okay and this is a big color right now and uh, you can do some of noisy color right now okay noisy color it means you just to put some of random colors maybe uh let me see we can just using this uh maybe this beer color okay some noisy color so from here i'm making this uh, go to filter blue okay go to blue and uh, we blue those details and with that we can go to a big color and we turn this view down can make it smaller so actually uh it's adding some of a uh, noisy noisy color slightly right so it won't affect on this overall color but it's still uh, really uh create some a bit interesting because those armors uh it's kind of very wild those skin also kind of dirty is right it's it's going to be showing many different colors okay and uh, what else let me see and we can also add different color on some different part of this creature uh, maybe i can show a bit Red tone. Oh, this is release. Let me try. Okay, and maybe we can use soft line. Oh, just part. This should be cold tone, right? So you can turn this hue to the cold, but the less situation. Let's go give this part a little more cold color. okay and i just create another layer those guys can be create a clicking mask and i'm going to add a bit of less situation coat color on those parts here another side because i decide to put the coat color on the side here okay so this we may go soft light it's too dark Maybe color, okay. Color is not. It's okay right? because uh, our value here is uh, it's quite okay. So just using color will be fine. Okay. So with that, I'm going to create another layer, and using this, uh, just pick one of this brush, right? And going to using this cold. Uh, it's too bright somewhere here Okay, to add those uh, bounce light So this lighting, uh, for those metal parts, you can uh, push a little bit harder of your brush to uh, make a bit more bright uh, because of those uh, metal part uh, actually uh, to reflect more lighting of this lighting. The skin is uh, because of the surface problem. It's not as much uh, like the metal reflect the lightings.
Okay, just give a little bit more lighting, slightly, on this uh, head part to bring out a little bit more uh, contrast. Okay, on there. Because those is an uh, important area. Okay, so with that, I think we have the big uh, color already. And the rest uh, just uh, going to uh, touch over uh, details. Okay, so. Okay, so for the touch over part, I just uh, uh, not talking. Okay, so it's kind of boring. Uh, it's quite similar what we I do before, right? So okay, uh, thank you very much for your uh, watching. Uh, probably at the end I will explain more. Okay, I will, I will talk a little bit more at the end. So uh, yeah, see you uh, later.